The C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group, which represents 90 of the world's cities, has just released its list of the best performing cities for tackling climate change and meeting the goals of the Paris Agreement. C40 member cities work under specific participation standards for membership, which include, for example, setting a target for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and setting a climate action plan. The list recognizes the best performing cities in seven global regions. The number one cities in each region are Hong Kong, Seoul, London, Mexico City, Durban, New York City, and Dubai. While cities have become central to the conversation on global efforts to meet the goals of the Paris Agreement, they cannot directly affect change in the electricity mix that powers their urban activities. That's the role of utilities and regulators. C40, however, says that by working closely with utility regulators, city governments can influence the power mix and achieve a grid mix of 50 to 70 percent renewables by 2030. Some of the best performing cities on the C40 list have demonstrated how cities can participate in the formation of their own renewables future. For example, in its recent report called Focused Acceleration, C40 said that Copenhagen, which ranked third for the best performing cities in Europe, launched a cooperative for investing in a 40 megawatt offshore wind farm. That cooperative attracted more than 8,000 investors in the local community, creating local buy-in of a potentially divisive project that is located only two kilometers from the coastline. The city of Melbourne, which ranked third for the best performing cities in the East, Southeast, Asia, and Oceania, collaborated with other city governments and organizations to purchase 110 gigawatt hours of renewables over 10 years. The report said that cities can help utilities navigate the path to a highly electrified, renewables power future by setting clear decarbonization goals, aggregating demand for renewables, shifting more urban energy consumption to electricity, and improving load management. I'm Jennifer Deloney with Renewable Energy World, and this has been your Climate Minute for March 5th. Follow Renewable Energy World on Facebook or Twitter for more news.